What if you do? If you had your own zoo, would you bounce on a bear, let a giraffe brush your hair, have an elephant pick out your underwear? you going to clean your room? Well, I started to, but then Coco needed a new hair ribbon and, well... Huh? I wonder who that could be. Willa, you're a big girl now, and that means taking care of your things and being responsible. I can be responsible. <laughs> Hello, Miss Vanderwinkle. I'm so sorry to bother you. I'm babysitting my nephew Buzzy this weekend, but it turns out I've got to go to the dentist. Would you mind watching him for an hour? Well, I think... We'd love to. Yes, we would. I mean, Will. <laughs> but in this case, Willa, I'll be doing it. Looking after a toddler is a big responsibility, you know. But I can do it. See? I'm already helping. <laughs> Well, looks like we're both watching you, Miss Vanderwinkle. We'll see you when you get back. Thank you so much. Bye, Buzzy. Be good. I'll see you soon. Okay, Willa, before you get too excited here, we need to go over a few things. Uh, as soon as I answer the phone. Hello? Oh, yes, Mr. Driscoll. I uh, have those numbers right here. Calm down, buckaroo. No, oh, no, Mr. Driscoll. I, 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 I wasn't talking to you, sir. Dad, I think Buzzy wants to play. Can I take him outside? Could you hold on just a moment, please? Okay, but one thing. This is a big responsibility, so you cannot let him out of your sight. Stay in the backyard or the house and be careful. And call me if you need any help. <laughs> That's five things, Dad. But don't worry. I've got it all under control. And Miss Vanderwinkle needed help, so I volunteered to babysit. Isn't he the king of cutest? <laughs> coochie, coochie, coo. <laughs> Oh, 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 look at you, you cutie pie baby doll. Yep, kids love me. Dad said this babysitting thing was a big responsibility, but I think it's easy peasy. Pardon me, Miss Easy Peasy, but Buzzy is about to wake up Bert. <laughs> Gladys, 
It's okay, guys. It was only Buzzy. What's up, Buzzy? Um, well... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Unidentified life form! Run for your lives! <laughs> Sorry, Buzzy. Inky, Blinky, and Bob don't want to play right now. What is it? A new breed of emu? A Tasmanian terrier? <laughs> what are you talking about, Bob? Moose have antlers. <laughs> What's wrong? Is she broken? <laughs> hmm. I'll bet he's hungry. Here you go, Buzzy. Some nice cold milk. <laughs> How about a <laughs> yummy <laughs> cracker? <laughs> Spaghetti. PB and J. Hot dog, broccoli, chips, juice, leftover pizza, pudding. For such a tiny Joey, he's the fussiest eater I've ever seen. Hey! Now who doesn't like bananas? How's it going, hon? Great, Dad. We're just getting Buzzy something to eat. Well, I just got off the phone and I thought I would... <sighs> I'm coming, Mr. Driscoll! <sighs> Buzzy still wants something. But what? <sighs> Boy, babysitting is harder than I thought. Why don't you ask your dad for help? I can't. Why, Why not? not? Because I'm trying to show him that I'm responsible. Hmm. Oh, I should have thought of this in the first place. He wants a toy. My Jack in the Box was my favorite toy when I was little. Oh, hey, Ken, how about I eat the toy? That always cheers me up. No, Gus, but how about... Oh, yeah, 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 way ahead of you. Hey, who's a cute little gator wrangler? <laughs> Jenny, how about a big slide ride? One big slide for one big boy, coming up. <laughs> Quick, Steve and Edie, I need an emergency show. <laughs> the worst review we've ever gotten. I don't understand. They loved it in Peoria. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Peek-a-boo, peek-a-boo. That fuzzy thing must be the most powerful animal in the world. Look at what it's done to them. Has it no mercy? Oh, the horror. Oh, Buzzy, I can't tell what you want. <sighs> There's only one thing to do. Dad! Huh? Coming! <laughs> hey, what's all the excitement? I'm sorry, Dad. I know I wanted to show you how responsible I could be, but nothing makes Buzzy happy, and we've tried everything, and... and I need your help. <laughs> Okay. Now, now, Buzzy. Come on. Everything's all right. Settle down. See? 
He was just tired and needed a little help falling asleep. That was all he wanted? A nap? Oh, I didn't know that. I guess I'm not responsible. Well, Willa, you tried your very, very best. And when that wasn't working, you asked for help. And that is being responsible. I am responsible. You know, the only reason I knew what Buzzy wanted was that, well, I used to help someone fall asleep many, many years ago. Someone named Willa. <laughs> was I ever as fussy as Buzzy? Oh, no, 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 of course not. You are way worse. <laughs> That's my Willa. I still don't know what the new animal is, but Monsieur Bingo tamed him. And Gladys, too. Oh, he's good. Real good. should always be well-groomed, especially when having one's photograph taken. Everyone will be looking at it for years to come. Gosh, I hadn't thought of that. Uh-oh. I look funny in every one of these old pictures. No worries, Willa. I'm sure this year's going to be different. You look fabulous. <laughs> You're right, Coco. And I'm going to start by getting rid of this boring old hairband. <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> Dad! Dad! What's wrong, honey? All my old school photos are disasters, and picture day is Monday, and I don't want to wear a boring old hairband this year. And just look at me. Oh, I have the cutest little girl in the whole wide world. <sighs> no, you don't. I have a cowlick. See? Oh, right. Well, um, how about I make you an appointment at the hair salon? Oh, you're the best dad in the whole wide world. I think the adorable pink jumper Blinky's wearing says, I'm a big girl and I'm not afraid to show it. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good, Blinky. Work it, work it. <laughs> Hmm, maybe. Which one do you like, Jenny? They're all very pretty, and I'll bet they'll look even prettier on you instead of penguins. Well, if you want this model's opinion, these duds are too colorful. No kidding. Don't you have anything in black? Or white? Or black and white? Willa, I'm afraid your hairdresser is booked solid until after picture day. What? But didn't you tell her about my cowlick? 
I'm sorry, sweetie. I, I tried my best, but it turns out nearly all the kids in town made hair appointments. Oh, great. Now I'm going to be the only kid with pop-up hair. Hey, I, I bet I got a stylish solution for you. A hat. And I've got some dandy ones up on the attic. Hmm. <gasps> you know, it's just a bit of a cowlick. It can't be that hard to fix. Gee, you really think you could fix it, Coco? Why not? I trim my tail fur all the time. <laughs> well, you are the best groomed kangaroo I've ever known. And I've always wanted to be a hairdresser. It's like creating a work of art with hair. <laughs> Let's do it. Voila! Hey, it doesn't sproing up anymore. Um, yes, but Coco may have snipped off a bit more than the cowlick. <gasps> no worries. I'll just balance it out back here. And just a little more over here. Lie, 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 lie. Here we go. This should hide a cowlick. Hmm, a little too big. Aha! I found it! Perfect! Ah! Maybe not. <gasps> Sorry, Willa. It seems people hair is trickier to trim than kangaroo fur. Who knew? I can't have my picture taken like this. What am I going to do? Maybe a couple more snips. No! no! Thanks anyway, Coco. Your hair will grow out, Willa. It's not the end of the world. Whoa! Hairdos like that make me glad that I have no hair at all. You know, that actually looks better. Hmm, I think Gus has a point. This bunny hat is awfully cute. Well, it does hide my hair, and it keeps my head toasty warm. It is the latest thing in high fashion. <laughs> You heard, Gladys, boys. Bunnies are where it's at. Oh, hello. I'd like to make an appointment for my daughter to get her hair trimmed today. And... Oh, well, uh, thank you anyway. Morning, Dad. Good morning, hon. Still trying to find a hairdresser. They're a busy bunch. <laughs> That's okay, Dad. I've decided to wear a bunny hat for picture day. Bye. Uh, yeah, bye, honey. Hello. Oh, sorry. It actually turns out my daughter will be wearing a bunny on her head. A bunny on her head? Uh, do you know you have a rabbit on your head? It's a bunny hat. It's the latest thing in high fashion. <laughs> 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 what are you wearing on your head? Oh, you don't know? It's a bunny hat. <laughs> Which is why I'm wearing mine for picture day. Her hat is kind of cute. And it winked at me. I think it's even helping her posture. But how did Wanda hear about bunny hats before us? Who cares? Right now, we've got to get to the pet shop fast. Hi, Dad. Great day, huh? Well, somebody sounds nice and cheery. <laughs> <laughs> and so does your hat. Yep, we're all set for picture day tomorrow. And it gets better. Great news. I made your favorite, carrot salad. <gasps> <gasps> Bunny, no! Willa, your hair. What happened? Um... Well, I kind of let Coco cut my cowlick, and I guess she made a few snips too many. Yeah, so I see. I should have told you about it right away, but I was too embarrassed. And that's why as soon as my hat finishes eating, it's going right back on my head. Because I look awful. 
Well, it is a different do for you, Willa, but you know, you're not the first kid to feel a little awkward about the way you look. Yeah, but not right before picture day. Wanna bet? I found these old pictures in the attic when I was looking for hats. Huh? Who is this kid? Well, that's your old pop when he was just about your age. Aw, you were so cute. Really? Oh, I think I looked pretty goofy. Well, a little, I guess, but that's okay, because that's just the way you looked. And I think you were the cutest little boy in the whole world. <laughs> Thanks, honey. And you know, that's how I feel whenever I see a picture of you. You'll always look great to me because, well, you're my Willa. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. You know, I don't think I'll wear a bunny hat after all. <laughs> it looks pretty silly. Good idea, hon. And you know, I bet we could buy a nice new hairband that would cover up most of Coco's handiwork. Look, girls, another fashion victim without a bunny hat. I feel sorry for her. She'll feel so très passé when she sees our school photos. I'm not sure what très passé means, but it's got to be better than having a rabbit on your head. Hi, Julie. You look nice today. Thanks, Willa. So do you. You think so? My dad bought me this new hairband. I hope it doesn't look too weird. Trust me. I don't think anyone will notice, Willa. <laughs> Thanks, Dooley. Oh, <laughs> 